Hello dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to upload another interesting and informative video tutorial related to simulation of perovskite solar cells in scaps 1D. Uh, in this video, I will explain how we can uh, make a basic graphical representation in origin software and how we can set parameters and uh, how we can save our origin project and graph as well. So first of all, I would like to share my screen with all of you so that I can start for my today's work. Okay, dear friends, uh, you can see now uh, my screen has been displayed over here. Whenever we are going to open the origin software, we will have this kind of interface over here. It have multiple rows and columns and one person can modify it according to its own uh, requirements. Like we can increase or decrease the number of columns. We can increase the number of cells as well. Normally, particularly we have what we have X axis over here, the values which are independent. And second column is what normally we have Y axis. They are normally dependent values. Over here, basically I'm going to show you uh, the graphical representation between the effect of the thickness of electron transport pair over the performance parameter uh, open circuit voltage. So probably I am just doing one uh, simulation uh, graphical representation uh, with respect to the variation of the thickness uh, with respect to uh, voltage, open circuit voltage. Normally, uh, one person can add multiple columns over here. I will explain how we can add uh, these uh, uh, these simulation results has been ex extracted from SCAPS 1D and in my previous lecture, lecture number 18, I have given a very detailed explanation how we can extract uh, simulation data from the SCAPS 1D simulation analysis. So you can watch my video number, uh, lecture number 18 to understand how we can extract the simulation data from uh, SCAPS 1D. So over here, this is the x-axis and the y-axis. Now, uh, next thing is that uh, once we have arranged our data in rows and columns, uh, how we can make a basic graph? We just need to make uh, this uh, select. We need to just select this portion so that we can uh, simulate uh, this variation upon the effect of performance parameter we are seeing. Now, uh, below the bottom, we can see that we have various plots that we can use, but Normally, we use line and symbolic representation, and I will explain what is the significance of line and symbolic representation. So just clicking over here, okay, you can see that now I have just obtained a graphical representation that is exponentially a decreasing curve with the increment of uh, thickness of ETL layer, what is happening over here. So we can see that as the thickness of the ETL layer was uh, increased, uh, uh, was increased the performance parameter uh, VOC was tend to decreasing. So next thing is that uh, we can change our graphical representation. We can modify our uh, graph with respect to our own demand and requirements. Like just clicking over here, we can uh, simply change uh, its color as well. Okay. And uh, you can see that over here is the basically the line representation over here. And we can change the graphical um, representation color over here by just selecting like blue. And we can modify its width. Like I'm going to se select two. Uh, so you can see now this curve is now a little bit more dense. And uh, similarly, one person can change the uh, the parameters like the variation of thickness and uh, its its uh, variation can be done simply just uh, clicking on properties. We can modify, we can make it bold, we can uh, make it more colorful in order to make the graphical representation more prominent simply over here. Like I'm going to bold it. Okay, now you can see the thickness of uh, uh, parameter has been bold now. Now, similarly, we can do VOC bold as well as and uh, the other thing is that now I'm going to show you uh, this is the 
one dimensional graphical representation. Now, next thing is that I'm going to share the how we can add multiple columns in origin software. Uh, this software is one of the leading software that is normally used for uh, uh, for graphical representation for periviscid solar cells or simple solar cells or some other uh, mathematical analysis. And uh, its graphs are very helpful for um, uh, writing paper and publishing paper in good impact factor journals. So next thing is that how we can insert multiple columns. Uh, just simply uh, selecting the column, we can uh, make over here insert. Now you can see that I have uh, uh, basically two columns, uh, BY and the CY. So now I'm going to do what I'm going to make a two dimensional graph, similar process with the, the help of just I have explained. I have already uh, ex uh, extracted data. So I just need to put my data over here. Like I'm going to make my graph with respect to uh, you can say that variation of the thickness uh, with respect to fill factor. So I need to put over here data. Okay, like I'm going to make over here data and I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to paste over here. And uh, now this is the VOC voltage I'm going to write down here POC and uh, its unit is volt. So over here and next I'm going to make the second column like I'm talking about the fill factor. I just make over here fill factor and fill factor is normally computed in percentage and next um, I can make some 70 like I can talk say 75 like 76 and 80 and uh, and so on it's just random data over here so okay it is six and over here it is seven and similarly over here is basically what it is now i need to do what i just need to mark select these uh, all the columns that i have just included in my this origin uh, data sheet. So I need to just select over here. Double Y. Okay, now you can see that now I have two dimensional graphical representation stating what on this Y axis, I have voltage. And on this axis, I have fill factor. And on Y axis, I have what thickness. So probably uh, this is the representation of one dimensional and two dimensional graphical representation in SCAPS 1D. Now, next thing is that once we have uh, plotted some graphical representation, how we can save our graph. So we can do just simply like I'm going to display once again the graphical representation. I have just obtained a two dimension graph. I need to save this graphical representation in my desktop or some other folder. We need to do what? We need to just click over here and uh, we need to select the export graph and open the dialog. Now uh, there is another interface over here, which will help us to save our graphical representation in uh, multiple uh, ways like I'm going to save. Normally, we are more interested in saving the graphic graphical representation in JPEG, JPG, and so on. So I just selected the format of my graphical representation. I'm going to make write down over here graph, and next it will definitely ask for us some particular destination where we want to save our graphical representation. So uh, you can save. Uh, like I'm going to select over here, like my desktop, you can save. Similarly, uh, next thing is that we are going to save our project. Like you can see that save project, just we can select our save project over here and it will ask our destination folder where we want to save this project, this data sheet of the origin. So whenever we are going to save it, it will definitely have like such extension OPJU and we can save it in some any particular location in our desktop and other folder of the uh, our computer. So uh, 
this is the basic basic representation and explanation for graph representation and plotting in origin software and uh, in the end of my lecture today's lecture and today's information uh, i will try to upload the origin setup uh, software or so uh, origin software setup in my description and um, uh, since this software is comparatively large and it is a bit hard to send uh, the setup to everyone, therefore I'm going to just put, uh, upload my uh, Google Drive link in my description of the video so that any student can download and uh, use this software easily. So I hope this session will be helpful for all of you. Thank you for listening to me and supporting me. Take care. Allah Hafiz.